Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today, I'm going to be unboxing and testing this Promate laptop cooling pad that I bought for my 15.6 inch laptop. Now apparently, it's compatible with laptops up to 17 inches. So first, let's take a quick look at the box. At the back, you'll find some of the main features. We have the adjustable height, there's a fan speed controller, and dual USB ports. And here's what it looks like. So now, let's start the unboxing. Alright, so I have my little knife over here, so I can open the box. Now let's continue the unboxing from a different angle. Oh, there are two more seals. And All right, I'll bring the camera closer. And here's the cooling pad. Quick guide. So let's see what else it comes with. Looks like it has a... Now I wonder what this cable does. It has a USB on each end. Now I'm assuming this is what powers the cooling fan. So let's take a look at the cooling pad. We have two cooling fans. Promate logo. At the back, looks like we have the stand. Now let me remove the box and let's test it on my laptop. Alright, so I'm going to set it up. Let's see how the stand works. Looks like we can just... How do we adjust this? Oh, there we go. So the stand's fully extended. And this over here prevents the laptop from falling. Now let's get the USB cable and plug it in at the back. She's the USB port. And then, I guess my laptop. Now I've actually been using this other cooling pad over here. Now this cooling pad doesn't have any cooling fans, but it's made out of rubber. And this one's from Logitech. So I decided to upgrade to this cooling pad with some cooling fans. So, let's plug it in. Got the cable. And let's turn on my laptop. Okay. So, what's happening? Well, huh, okay, maybe we need to turn it on. Okay, let me move my laptop for a while. So, looks like the switch is over here. We just spin it. Oh, there we go. Let me bring the camera nearer so you can hear what it sounds like. It's actually really quiet. It doesn't sound like anything. You can probably hear my air conditioning in the background and I cannot really hear the sound of the fan unless I'm right next to it. So this is the fastest speed. You can also adjust the speed by using this little dial. So for now we're gonna use the maximum speed. I'm gonna put my laptop back on it. So my laptop's made by Dell, and as you can see at the bottom, there's this gigantic vent. So hopefully, the fan will blow air into this vent and cool the laptop. And the laptop already has its own fan, so I think air comes out of here. Put it down. Alright. Let me move the camera again. So as of now, my room's actually 32 degrees Celsius since I just arrived here and turned on the air conditioner. So let's see how hot the laptop is when we turn it on compared to the room temperature. So I have downloaded an app over here which shows me the temperature. 
I think it's loading. Let's wait. And it looks like the highest temperature in my laptop is around 47 or 51 degrees Celsius. It's kind of fluctuating a bit. But that's similar to the temperature of my room. Now, I'm going to run a few tests using this cooling pad. So I'll be back in a second. Alright, so it's actually night time right now. And I just realized this. The fans actually light up. So it looks pretty cool. The thing is when you put your laptop on the cooling pad, you can't really see the fans. So you cannot really see the light. And I also have a light over here at the back of my desk. Now, I'm going to test my laptop using the realistic benchmark, Cinebench R23. And by the way, this video isn't sponsored by any company. I just want to use this benchmark since I think it's a great way of testing how effective the cooling fan is, or the cooling pad. So I'm going to wait for it to download, and then, let's start the test. Alright, so now, I have Cinebench R23, and we're going to test the laptop. So we're going to do two tests. The first test with the cooling fans plugged in. And the second test without the cooling fans or the cooling pad. So we can compare how fast the laptop is with and without the cooling pad. Now I'm also going to monitor the ambient temperature. So right now, the laptop is around 40 degrees Celsius. So after I finish the first test, I'm going to let the laptop cool down to around 40 degrees Celsius before doing the second test so that the laptop is at the same temperature where we start the test. So now, let's start the first test with the cooling fans plugged in. I'm going to press start and we're going to run one test. And I actually like this test since it's quite long so that we can see how well the laptop performs over time since the laptop should get hotter over time as it performs. Now also, this is what the cooling fan looks like at the bottom. Now I think when the stand is raised, that improves the airflow of the fans since more air can go underneath. And I can actually feel cool air coming out at the top. Now this probably depends on your room. And right now, I have an air conditioner in my room. So the temperature is a bit cooler compared to without it. But if you're in a hot room, then the cooling fans will just be blowing hot air at your laptop. But at least it should be circulating the air. So I can feel air coming out from the vents. And the laptop feels pretty cool. So I'll just cut and skip this video until the test is nearly complete. So I'll be back in a second. Alright, so it's almost completed the test. And as you can see the laptop is around 83 degrees Celsius. And the surface temperature feels really cool. It does feel a bit warm, but it's not really hot that you're like gonna burn yourself. So let's see. It's rendering a few more cubes. And when it's done, the test should automatically stop. And we should see the score over here. So the test is automatically stopped, and the score is 4143. So I'm gonna write it down with a cooling pad. 4143. Oops, a bit crooked. And now let's run the test again without the cooling pad. So I'm gonna unplug the cooling pad. So now the laptop is cooled back to its normal temperature. So the test is fair, like the first one. So it's around 44 and 45 degrees Celsius. Now I'm gonna unplug the fans. So as you can see, they no longer light up. It's disconnected. And we're gonna start the test again without the cooling fans. So press start. So the test is starting. And just like the previous test, I'm gonna skip ahead to when the test is almost done. I'll be back in a second. All right, so the second test is almost done. It's rendering in a few more cubes. And this is the test without the cooling fans. A few more. Oops, there's a dog barking in the background. Hope it's not too annoying. And the score is 4090. So let's write it down. And actually, 
it works. So the cooling pad definitely improves your laptop's performance. Now not a gigantic difference, but still, it's noticeable. So, would I recommend buying this cooling pad? Well, yes. I actually think it's a really good accessory for your laptop. Especially if you're someone like me who likes gaming and video editing. Or if you're doing heavy work on your laptop, such as rendering 3D files or 3D models. And it's really easy to set up. Just plug it in. Plus, it provides a really nice stand for your laptop. So it's almost eye level. Now, in terms of durability, it feels pretty durable. Let me give you a closer look so you can see what it looks like without the laptop. So this surface over here is actually made of metal. Feels pretty solid. And this stopper here also feels pretty solid. It moves around like that and prevents your laptop from falling down. And then, at the bottom, there's this stand that can retract. And it's really nice since it locks into place easily. And it's adjustable. But you can also use it without the stand, of course. So you can easily put it on your lap or on a desk or on the bed. But I like the stand when I'm at my desk since it's almost like a monitor. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give it a like and please subscribe to help support my channel. And thanks for watching.